What's up, y'all? Happy New Year's. It's really coming up, y'all. 2020. Somebody told me this, a good friend of mine. He said, what is 2020? Perfect vision. This is the year for you to do the shit that you've been wanting to do your whole freaking life. You start that shit now. So I want to say something about following. Y- y'all seen The Matrix. Follow the white bunny, the white rabbit, right? Follow, take a step in a direction and you will get somewhere. I swear, it's crazy how this shit's happening, right? I wanted to get into, um, so I, I'm not going to really tell you guys too much what, what I'm trying to get into, right? But I saw somebody, listen to him on YouTube and the stuff he's been saying, I, I resonated with his, his message and what he was doing was he was giving out lots and lots of books. So what I did was because I wanted to emulate what his business model was, I wanted to get the mindset that he had. That's the most important thing. So what I'm trying to tell you is take the steps. If you hear something that resonates with you, what did my my ex called it? Um, synchronicity. It's when you hear something somewhere, and then in an entirely irrelevant situation, your friend brings up that exact same topic you were talking about this morning with some random person, right? That's synchronicity. That's when you take what that little like weird uh paradox or whatever you want to call it and you you listen to it you run with it you search it you research more of it you you're hearing a lot about this ketogenic diet shit right you keep hearing about it maybe and it sticks in your mind look into it learn about the the workouts and routines and stuff like that you'll get somewhere with that right so 2020 coming in Big shit happening. I'm so excited, right? It's something called the masculine burden of performance that I'm so ready to tackle on, right? And if you... I I wish I had the book with me. It's in my car right now. I was reading it. But The Rational Mail. Perfect book. Fucking amazing-ass book. It doesn't stop, y'all. It doesn't stop. I'm tired as hell right now. But you know what? Things, business, long-term shit comes first, right? So... I want to keep this short, you guys. Be fucking safe. You know, have a good ass time. Be around some families. Be be around your friends. You know, think about how you want to live your life for the next three, four to five years. And we're going to start this next year off right that way. Right? You're going to do whatever you said, whatever people said you couldn't do. And even your, your friends aren't doing it. You have the power to do it. I'm so excited. I'm so willing. I'm ready to see other people do these things. Don't worry about the negativity. Fuck the negativity. But you need what? You know what? Expect negativity. That's one thing a lot of people don't realize and they don't take into factor. Expect the negativity and accept it, right? What it is is people, if they're not, what people do is they love comfort. They love stability. They love being able to predict things. When you change your life and you do things that are out of the norm for how others, your high school friends, old friends, even family, has seen you and they've known you for so many years, when you change your behavior, they're thinking you're not real. They're thinking you're changed. They're thinking you're fake. No, don't listen to that shit. You know what? Take it, hear it, take it with a grain of salt, you know? Some, sometimes you do need that outside perspective, but other times you need to stay listening to your inner voice, listening to your intuition. That picture in your mind that you have of your future, nobody else has it, right? Nobody else has that. Only you are able to put that into fruition, to manifest that shit, right? right? Look, you believe what you want to believe. God, Jesus, whatever, this manifestation shit is true. I was grew up in I grew up in a Christian family and I want I just wanna say this shit real quick because people are like, oh, you, you guys talking about this manifesting universe shit. No, fuck that. Look, if you want to talk about the Bible and stuff, look, they said we were made in God's image. What are some godly qualities that we have? The ability to create, the ability to manifest, right? There's a car that you wanted in your fucking mind. You got that motherfucker. Right? There was a situation, a circumstance, a girl or a guy you wanted to get with. You got them. You manifested that. Right? It takes effort. The more you accomplish things, the more you bring things in from your head into actual life, the stronger that ability to manifest comes and is, right? We could talk about that we could talk about that all day. I'll take make another video about that. But the negative negative part, right? 
People are going to be negative. People are not going to like seeing what they wish they were. They're not going to be able to take the blows, the impacts when you speak about things that are really important, right? People get offended because it's a personal issue. It's not about you. It's never about you. When someone is angry, when someone says some foul ass shit, it's never about you. It's only that you triggered an emotion in their life, in their experiences that makes them want to say things because they can't hold their emotions in. We need to express ourselves, right? So it even goes in the reverse when it comes to negative things. When you are building up your body, when you're eating good, when you're exercising, when you reject going to parties to read books, to go study and do your budget and shit like that, people are going to be, oh, that's lame. You square. You're so boring. Why y'all so boring? You know what I'm saying? Negative. But that's because that's their trajectory in their mind, right? They know they need to do those things, but they won't because they don't have the patience. They don't have the ability to vision the future. You do, right? So, I'm going to leave that. 2020 is coming in big. Um... I'm going to give out some books. I'm really going to start doing that. I think every fifth or tenth video, depending on how I am. I'm not trying to break my bank. Obviously, I'm not big balling and shit like that. I'm stable, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not big balling and stuff. But like, share, comment, and um, preferably shares. But I'm going to go ahead and start giving books. I want to give, and I want to know I'm helping people, right? I vision myself helping people the way that I feel like I wish I would have had my guidance and help and stuff out there in the world. These things help me. And if I would have gotten this earlier in my life, I would be in a much different, better position in my life. I believe that wholeheartedly. And I, I, and I, I want to help out, right? So I'll even start, I'll even give you some protein shakes and stuff, you know, depending on what you guys, you know, depending on what it is and depending on what I'm feeling. Got a couple books, got The Laws of Human Nature, The Rational Male, um, David Dida, you know, stuff like that. Profit First, another good book, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. He made Think and Grow Rich. So I'm going to start doing give giveaways coming in 2020. And uh, I'm so excited to see the growth and the change that everyone else around me is having. I Once again, I, I, just, I really just want to improve myself. This is helping me to express myself. But I also want to help others along the journey with me. There's nothing. The people say it's lonely at the top. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be lonely at the top, right? You just have to keep, you just have to put that that proper division between, what what is it, what do they call it? Revenue generating activities and pleasure. Staying at home to read to improve your damn mindset or going out to go smoke some weed and drink liquor with your friends and have a good ass time. Both very plausible, this obviously is the easier choice, right? This one, on the other hand, of reading your books, taking the time out your day, rejecting those invites to go out wherever, this is going to yield a longer term, better beneficial thing, right? But you got to balance it. You can't always do this and then neglect this. You can't always neglect, uh, do this and neglect this, right? So it's a balance. It's a balance. It's a balance. It's a fucking balance, you guys. Manifest your fucking dreams, y'all. She's Trey. Um... I'm out.